Welcome back to She Living. I am your host, Angela. And today we're going to talk about all things Tyler Perry. Yes. Some of you know that I lived in Atlanta for a couple of years before I moved back to Mississippi. So I got the opportunity to do extra work. So I was able to work on, for better or worse, I was able to work on uh, having a have not. And I was able to work on Love Thy Neighbor. And I was in the uh, premiere commercial. So I'm going to show you that in this next clip. Let me know if you see me. Remember when Wednesday nights used to be such a calm and wonderful night to go to Bible study? Who are you talking to? I was talking to... God? Not anymore! Does he even know you? No, I'm kidding. Right after that, you need to see Love Thy Neighbor. <laughs> this is crazy! You're right. Get ready to laugh. Oh, stop. <laughs> and that's no bell. But go on. <laughs> Tyler Perry's Love Thy Neighbor. Two all-new back-to-back episodes. Wednesday, starting at 9, 8 central. Listen, that was so fun. Like, that time I got an opportunity to, you know, see what all it takes to put together a, um, a show and put together a movie and all the behind the scenes, you know, things. Everything was just so cool to watch. And Mr. Perry, as we called him, he walked around with such a presence. And I guess he looked at like such a presence and such a monument over me because I'm well, I'm only five two, but it's like he is tall, tall, tall. And we got the opportunity to go in the studio and walk around the studio and look and see all these different people that you see, you know, on the TV shows and everybody just walking around. Extra work is like, well, I'm sure most of you know, but it's just like, you can't do a movie, you can't do a TV show, you can't do none of that if um, you don't have, like, extra people. Because the day, like, the missing teeth of Hollywood. And to me, why, you know, the pay is not as good, is beyond me because... It, it's extras are so necessary. You can't imagine um, being in an empty restaurant and you don't have any customers. So those customers are the extra people, and the pay is the pay sucks. I'm just gonna say, and that's and that's just not with um, with those shows. It's with all the shows because I did shows for. Um, BET, I did shows for TV One. For BET, I did Let's Stay Together. And for TV One, I did the Ricky Smiley Show. And all of them, you know, pay about the same. But I don't know why that is... I don't know why that, that is not a lot of money in that. But anyway, I digress. Okay, back to Mr. Perry. And... Listen, when you're extra there, he makes sure that uh, you're comfortable. Um, whatever the um, whatever the talent, like who who is like on the show, whatever the talent is, whatever they uh, have a choice to eat, the extras have a choice to eat. Whatever it is that we want to eat, and all the while you wait all those long hours because it is. So so, so long. Sometimes you have to be be on the studio lot at 5 a.m. or 4 a.m. or 3 a.m. And then sometimes you, you be there at 6 a.m. and you don't leave to 1 a.m. And you just sit because you might have a show that the people can't get their lines right. Because like one, one day we was there and he was not about to play. 
They just couldn't remember their lines, and he just sent everybody home. He sent the talent home, the crew. He sent the production. He sent the extras. He sent everybody home. And literally, the what the stuff that we see him doing, like helping people, and I mean, I saw this when I was in. It was 2013 to almost 2015. Yeah, it was about that that time frame. And he was doing that. I was seeing him give away cars and stuff to his production. And I and I'm sure he had money, but he didn't he didn't have like the money that he got now. I'm sure because now he's bought a entire. Uh, army base when back then we was just like in the in the hood in the hood by Greenbrier Briar Mall and which it was cool but he was he was doing stuff like that for the people that work for him every day he was you know doing something for somebody so that is why he is so blessed and I just thought it was like okay I can share this story time on um, my channel because it was such a good experience um you had people that worked at the studio that was you no know, you know people that work at the studio all oh, working for mr perry i'm in production and i'm over the extras and they act a certain way or they treat you like you less than but he was not going for that because one it wasn't in my group but one one day uh, the first group that was uh, set to go on on the set, it was cold, and the the woman had them standing outside like in the cold, and they said he came to the door and, they, and Mr. He was just like, "Why y'all standing out here? Who got y'all standing out here?" He was not trying to play. He was not trying to play. One, he was not trying to play with get himself in trouble and I'm sure he didn't want you know because at the end of the day you need people you need extras so yeah that was a good time and I and from then on I started trying to support everything that uh that he has done I went to I went to plays I went to every movie that he's um that he's put out, I, I bought most, and I have more. I have <coughs> Madea Christmas. It's one of the funny. I don't know where my box is. I need to find where my box is. I don't know where it is. I have uh, this play. It is Madea Goes to Jail. And I don't, I don't think I have the movie My Dear Goes to Jail, but I need to find it and I need to order it. I have, uh, I Don't Want to Do Wrong. It's one of the funniest ones to me. <coughs> it's one of the funniest ones to me. This is one of the first ones that he did, Dyra Mag Black Woman, the play. The play. This was the one of the first ones. Meet the Browns. The play. The play. The play. The play. I can do bad all by myself. Do y'all remember this? I can do bad all by myself. I really wasn't a fan of Aunt Bam's place. And let me know, have y'all seen any of these? Let me know, have y'all seen... <laughs> any of the plays in the movies and I'm like everybody have but there's still some people who you know they just not Tyler Perry fans this is a double feature it is the favorite that prays and daddy's little girl yes yes I told you I support Tyler Perry this is I can do bad all by myself that was one of the uh, that was a good movie I can do bad by myself. Tyler Perry, Temptation. Tyler Perry, Good Deeds. And I'm sure I have some more. And I'm sure either one of my, my children probably got them. And why did I get married too? 
Because I know I had Why Did I Get Married to Play. But I don't know um, if I had the first Why Did I Get Married. But I need to get I need to get all the ones that I don't have. That was just a good experience and I wanted to share that with you all. <clears throat> My little story time. I'm going to start trying to do more story times because I have been uh, fortunate to, um, you know, have a lot of experiences and <laughs> a lot of experience and everything. Now, this movie, I, went, I was able to go to the <clears throat> actual premiere. I was able to go to the um, premiere of this because when I wasn't doing extra work, <clears throat> I was doing media and blogger work, and if you just, you know, back then, if you said that you was a blogger or whatever, you was able to go to red carpet events, you was able to go to, like, some of the hottest parties and day parties, you was able to, you know, do whatever, and I was able to um, see all the all the people that, um, that cast in here, Lance, Groves, Johnny Smollett. Uh, Vanessa, she was, I'm trying to think what she did. I don't know if Vanessa Williams was there. Um, Brandy, was Brandy there? No, nope, because I would have, um, <clears throat> I would have remembered that she was there. But, um, and the, the, the mean guy, uh, what his name is? Is he on here? I can't even think of that guy's name. The, the actual play, the, um, the rich guy. He was, uh, he was there. Kim Kardashian was there. So I was able to, and you know, once you have a red carpet event, all the other celebrities that live in Atlanta was there. And when he, when the, um, when he get, he got ready to pull up Tyler Perry, he pulled up in this little fancy thing, how big he is. He, like, he was bigger than a car. And he pulled up in, um, in this little car, and he just sat there, and he just was looking around, and everybody was just, you know, the media was just going crazy, taking pictures, and all the while he was sitting there, the, the fans just lost their mind, because um, we were in this thing called, you go into like a, the media pit, or, you know, you go in there, and he just sat in the car, and like, when, so once he got out, they lost his mind, it's like he just, Okay, my camera cut off, but what, what, what I was saying was, we was in the media pit, and he sat there, and he said, he got to us and, and, you know, talked to the media, and he just said, he was just sitting there taking it all in. So, it was amazing to see. It was amazing to see. So, thank you so much for listening to my story time all about Tyler Perry. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share the love, share the love, share the love. Love God, love people, serve God, serve people. Bye.